morning everyone welcome on transformer times you are watching 360 degree live show hosted by transformer times the purpose of this show to bring people from a different countries who are doing something different on the ground so we invite people from film industry aviation hospitality uh, uh, diplomats those are working on the ground so today we have a special guest who is a, a professional doctor and also a, a filmmaker and and also a writer of uh, you know uh, some of the films Uh, recently launched a uh, release film in India. So he is in uh, industry uh, around almost you know, like last five years, being a writer and also a creative person, working towards uh, bringing a positive and social message for for society and helping others to grow and understand the responsibility as well. So the person uh, itself is a you know a very very well known in India. He become a viral uh, uh, on internet on and you know. Uh, Shared some pictures and, and, and the whole world, uh, you know, uh, has taken his, uh, you know, uh, the work uh, featured in different magazine and news uh, article. So he belongs uh, uh, to Gujarat, whereas Indian Prime Minister comes from, and and Gujarat is also known from Vikram Sarabhai, Sarkar Patel, and so big legendaries are you know, are born uh, and brought up in, in Gujarat or state of India. So uh, here is uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Sohil Makwana joining us from Gujarat, India. Hi, Sohil. Welcome to Transparent Times. Hello, hi. Good afternoon from India. How are you? Yeah, all is How well here. Yeah, all is well. Fantastic! It's a fantastic uh, hot and humid Sunday over here. Yeah. 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 Good, good, good to know. And we are, you know, we are, we are glad to have you on Transport Times. And you know, uh, wanted to understand, you know, just begin our discussion, right? So, being a professional uh, and and also doctor, right? So you have seen almost one and a half years working on the ground, twenty four, twenty four by seven. Saving many mm. many human lives and all, right? So, yeah. so, 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 just wanted to understand your journey. Uh, when you started to working as a doctor, right? So, because many people having a different dream to become a you know become an engineer, become a scientist, become a uh, you know uh, mm. aeronaut. So many different different professions we have. So, so what is what was in your mind before becoming a doctor? What do you think? If you could elaborate, and that will be great for our audience. Also. Ah, since childhood I wanted to be a doctor, and uh, I really worked hard. And, uh, I got good marks in twelfth, and then I got examinations, and I got MBBS in uh, uh, Baroda Medical Research Government uh, College in Baroda, Gujarat. And uh, yeah, the journey started from there. After finishing MBBS, I worked in the uh, uh, hospital for a few months, and then I. Again, took admission in MD. After finishing my MD, approximately five six years, I'm working in a hospital and associated with academic as well. Yeah, long time I'm in the health sector. But since last one and a half year, we are getting rotational posting in COVID duties. Uh, we all uh, get our at ten to fifteen days posting. Also. We are acclimatized to it. And, uh, it was really difficult uh, to you know, uh, fight a virus, which is totally bizarre uh, and uh, characteristic as well as totally novel. Uh, yeah, initially we were a little bit of scared, but gradually we acclimatized ourselves. And uh, uh, though first wave was uh, disastrous, the second wave is definitely. Uh, More disastrous, and uh, we have a lot of patients got admitted in the uh, hospital in second wave. Currently, one currently we have uh, few patients because uh, the surge has been you know downgrading in, in declining phase. As it was very rapid surge in uh, sudden cases of uh, COVID positive patients, the, the same way declining was also fast. So we have to move. Otherwise, it would be really catastrophic. Event. Good to know that, and uh, I, you rightly mentioned, right? Uh, just uh, the cases are you know, going going down in India. So, do you think yeah. uh, uh, India possibly ready for wave three? Because wave three, wave four possibly are you know you know are on the way, right? So, what what yeah. is the uh, opinion on that? Uh, we are definitely ready and uh, i believe third wave will not be as much as disastrous as second because uh, many of the people have been vaccinated and the health sector is also uh, 
your manpower, you have built a, you have built new hospitals and uh, beds also have been increased. Majority of the patients. Uh, patients have been vaccinated this is the key factor so if uh, uh, in few six months uh, five six months if uh, everyone is getting vaccinated for the fantastic a third wave i don't think so uh, to be catastrophic and i hope third wave never arrives in india the second wave we have lost many youngsters uh, around 30 35 years old patients are uh, losing their lives uh, it's really Something, uh, <laughs> but so uh, being on the ground, right, so you have seen this last one and a half years like you know, like going through a difficult nightmare, right? So, so many doctors are working so hard, uh, you know, and continuously helping others to save their lives as well. So, what was your uh, you know, experience? How uh, do you have any such kind of experience where you feel that now you know this is what I should not be become a doctor because. So many doctors are complaining that, you know, what is that? You know, since last one and a half years, we're working non stop and this is not going to stop. So, do you have that feeling no. while working on this hospital? No, no, never, never, never. Okay. It, it's not like that. Uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. It's not like a yeah, doctor is working 20 for us. Uh, in every mm-hmm. institute and in every hospital, we have a national policy. We have shift hours. So, six to eight hours duty are not that cumbersome. It's not like a uh, doctor is. Uh, Working 24 by 7 for seven days. So it's our life, and we are, you know, used to that sec- that part from our school, our college days, and our MBBS days. So no doctor is uh, you know, uh, uh, regret of uh, because of COVID. Uh, I don't think so. Some of the, everyone is doing their best, and uh, we we doctors never get scared of any kind of. This is because uh, it's a challenge for us, and we always fight with all, all our courage. Good to know that, right? You know, we need a more courageous doctor like you, right? So I heard uh, some stories in Spain. Some doctors are complaining that you know, when this uh, pandemic will stop, and right? you know, they were like completely tired, right? You know, in Spain, we have seen so many doctors posting on Twitter. You know, why they become a doctor because they feel really tired. Not sure why they are posting like that, but not every doctor can think in that way. But there are few doctors. No, yeah, it's really, I, I understand their feeling because it's not easy to work for six to eight hours in a BPG where all these uh, you know, gadgets and uh, uh, outfits, you know, like mask and uh, uh, face shield and care. And so it's really difficult, but, but it's okay, it's part of life. And it's definitely tired sometimes. You are drenched in perspiration, like you also have photographed that viral. It's, it's, it's really uh, difficult and tiresome as well, but at the end of the day, we all are happy by uh, serving professions and serving professions. That's good to know. Uh, okay. uh, tell us something about the photographs which you have posted on Twitter and you did them a viral within a, you know, within a 24 hours, right? So I've seen uh, the photo uh, you shoot before uh, wearing PPE kit and after, you know, after wearing PPE kit, right? So, it, it gives a uh, you know goosebumps right so most of the people uh, uh, who are in you know, on the ground who can understand you know the impact and the work the doctors are doing in, on the ground and hospital so tell us something you know how that uh, impact created a different positive era positive aura in your in your circle first of all i would like to tell that the, the photograph is representing all the medical Every doctor has done the best in this part, and uh, every Indian doctor has served the best. And I had uh, uploaded that photograph in uh, uh, Facebook, and from that it got viral. Someone has posted on Twitter, and then I came to know about Twitter. And then I had uploaded that photograph on Twitter, and, and it was around uh, 18,000 times retweeted. Everyone was retweeting again and again. And so I was I was not using Twitter much at that time, and I had only two three posts on Twitter before that. Because nobody was following me, why should I put a Twitter? I will photograph on Twitter. But it by it went viral like a wildfire, and I have never imagined like. But the reason behind that photograph to be gone viral because uh, it is uh, you know attaching. 
everyone to help it like if you are talking if you are talking about spain so if spanish people knows the uh, that doctor is working 24 by 7 how they work so every culture or every country is seeing their doctors as a frontline worker in this covid pandemic situation that's why it got viral cuz it is attached with emotions it is was attached with emotions sentiments current scenarios this was the reason behind this was the reason behind the photograph and viral i i believe so absolutely that is what you know i thought when i saw the picture when uh, i saw in on, on your picture right so i realized that you know it's, it's really touching uh, uh, your your you know your soul and it's touching something like you know you feel that okay you feel proud how doctors are working uh, on the ground right so that is what uh, uh, you know what the doctor uh, nowadays is, is more you know more more special and more critical in the society now um, being a doctor uh, uh, also you have seen in rural areas where as people are trying to hire with and all right so some people are trying uh, ayurveda tricks medicines and and, and helping uh, covid uh, patients to recover so how do you see uh, ayurveda treatment is is really giving some kind of impact or or helping patient to improve their uh, immunity power there are two things first is immunity booster and second is treatment of covid so uh, there may be some ayurvedic stuff which can most immunity but definitely they are uh, not going to treat uh, covid because covid is emergency conditions and no are very drugs or any kind of herbal or effective or any kind of emergency service emergency treatment mm-hmm. so and uh, every and uh, you know uh, recently baba ramdev has uh, tweeted about all our uh, he had addressed his followers like he, he can treat every covid patients but, uh, but no one is treating uh, if any minister or anyone got in fact that he or she visits on the allopathic hospital they are just giving you know uh, uh, what you they are just giving one kind of excuses to the others we are just got nothing so i read it is effective against covid because uh, the covid is again it, it is uh, damaging your lungs so you need oxygen and steroids and uh, there are many Our treatments we have done, then uh, it's not possible without it. Absolutely. So you mean even that there is not a solution for controlling or you know, or or uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can boost your immunity with uh, that kind of uh, herbal products, but they are not a definitely uh, treating COVID positive patients. It's just sort of a guard against. So good to hear that uh, Dr. Sohil and uh, you know I think you made it very valid point. So people who are still confused, you know, we can you know we can at least go for Ayurveda, but not rely on Ayurveda completely because COVID is not you know not not a, that kind of disease which they can control through Ayurveda, right? So still no valid. no Ayurvedic treatment gives hundred mm-hmm. percent Ayurvedic. Even Ayurvedic doctor also uses this Parasita and all this. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't think so. Really. No. Yeah. Equip, for equipment uh-huh. yeah so tell us uh, something uh, important uh, you know the point which is almost popping around the world right still there are vaccines uh, you know uh, given uh, given to patients and, and so there are some cases where patients are dying right so what is your opinion what do you think being a doctor uh, after giving a first dose second dose there are some cases found in, in europe no, are- this, this is this is this is a myth i was uh-huh. in second wave i was in many patients Uh, who who are vaccinated and uh, they were effectively recovered very fastly recovered they no, they didn't need uh, oxygen they didn't need no pump therapy of steroids mm-hmm. majority of patients who were uh, were dying was on unvacc- unvaccinated so mm-hmm. definitely vaccination improves uh, uh, your fight against disease it's it's like if you are wearing a helmet So definitely, if you uh, got accident, and you will have some injuries, but helmet will protect you from that. So even if you are vaccinated, you may get COVID. But vaccine, if you are vaccinated, then the disease severity will be much much lesser as compared to non-vaccinated, unvaccinated person. So this is the difference. Like if you are, if you are going at 150 km per hour, and if you are not on a seat belt in a car. 
then you will be flung out if you don't. But, so seat belt is like vaccination is like seat belt. It will protect you, but you, know, you may have minor injuries. You may have COVID. But I, I, I have seen one patient. He was a uh, one ten kilogram. He was obese. He had diabetes uncontrolled. He has hypertension. Uh, he has asthma. But he was vaccinated. He had taken both the doses. And within four or five days, he was fantastic. Otherwise, such morbid patients will never recover from COVID. Mm -hmm. Good point that you mentioned very clearly. Vaccine is always like protection shield, which you will not no. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But apart from that, I have seen uh, your work uh, in last one and a half years, and you saved thousands of lives in India. So tell us something you know which you want to share, uh, which you think you're proud of. You know that situation where you want to. To talk about uh, on transcontinental times, and our audience also will see that okay, this is what the case you feel, you know, during that time. Not to disclose the name of person, but a situation where you think, okay, this is what you, you know, you've gone through difficult challenges, and finally you say you save that patient, thing like that. Uh, majority of the COVID patients have same treatment. So before, uh, you know, if someone is on ventilator, we definitely can know about the. USC, how many days USC will take. But there was one incident. Uh, a girl was uh, positive and uh, uh, she became negative after a few days. And the girl had donated the plasma to the lady uh, who was around 55 years old. And she, the, girl, uh, the lady was definitely fighting uh, against uh, COVID. She was on ventilator. But after receiving plasma for that girl, that young girl, the grandma uh, came out from ventilator and he survived fantastically. So this was very good to, uh, uh, the girl has gifted a life to that already. So this was very touchy moment and uh, I really like that incident. Apart from the, all, all, yeah. You talked about the lady uh, which you mentioned about Apexa? No, no, it's different. Okay, different. Okay, okay. That's good to know, uh, Dr. Sohil. Right now, let's move to the your another uh, area of expertise, right? You have shared uh, many things about your, you know, being a doctor, right? So, but before moving to another topic, what is your ad advice for the patients or, or people who are, you know, who are afraid from the COVID? What do you think being a doctor and, and if, some tricks and techniques you want to share on this forum? The simple process you need to you know sterilize yourself and stay away from the crowd, wear your masks, uh, don't stay in closed places for a prolonged period if you are surrounded by people and get your vaccination. So these are five things everyone is knowing and still they are not taking care of themselves. So vaccination is the only solution, but otherwise uh, you know, can prevent this pandemic. And please make sure so this sense that's it. Personal hygiene matters, sterilization, and uh, proper hand washing. Uh, do not use, reuse your mask. For many people, in, if you have heard about vapor mycosis here in India, uh, there are many patients of black fungus disease we have seen because the patients were immunocompromised, plus, you know, they, are, they were using or they are using the same mask for three months or two months, uh, so definitely there are multiple fungus or any kind of bacteria and uh, masks and personal hygiene matters a lot. Okay, that's good to uh, these, are, these, are disposable, yeah, these are disposable masks, it should be used for one day or once only. It's not like you can keep wearing the same mask for weeks or months. Yeah, good to know, Dr. Soil. Thanks for sharing those those valuable insights uh, about you know the prevention of uh, COVID. Now let's move to that uh, your filmmaking career, right? So being a doctor, uh, you also you know I, I met you. I met around 2012 the uh, the workshop conducted by Abhishek Jain and Sidman yeah. Production House in Ahmedabad. Yeah. And uh, in that event, Maulik Chauhan, my friend, the Gujarati actor, invited me in that that workshop. And whereas Anjum Rajabali sir was you know was yeah the, Anjum Rajabali yeah. Awesome. Anjum Rajabali, yeah. yeah. 2017, 18, 2017. No, no, not 2017. I think it's 2012, 2012, 2013. No, 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 was 2017, You forgot that. 16 or 17, maximum. No, no, I never. 
I'll share you a screenshot. I have, I have received as well. I'll show you. I think around 2012 or 13. That's what I'm pretty sure, but possibly you can yes, take yes. it. But around that year, almost seven years, right? So uh, I met, uh, I saw you as you know, as like very creative person there in the workshop, and you know, uh, and also we met uh, um, Shubhash Ghaisar as well during that time, right? So yeah. Last day, uh, last day of our uh, workshop yeah. and all, right? So being a doctor, uh, what what made you to think about filmmaking, and you know? Uh, and what was your inspiration to start in you know, films and you know and and and, uh, and making films, writing films, and, and and sharing your knowledge? What what inspired you to become a filmmaker? To share something in, around that with great. I'm not a filmmaker yet, though I was just assisted or uh, you can say intern. I was an I was an intern in a, a film at this point. But uh, I love filmmaking. I definitely want to be a director. But COVID has delayed everything. And I had written one uh, short film as well, which was I supposed to direct in 2020, but everything is on hold. And meanwhile, I got uh, time to pen down my first novel. But journey started was uh, long back, around uh, five years ago. I was always inclined towards storytelling. I I, I love, and my stories are new stories because I'm a doctor and uh, my uh, culture is but a bit of different, and I have these are same kind of characteristic. I have these are background in a story. So I was literally excited and I hunger to tell a new story, and that hunger kept me continuously insisting, "Don't give up. You should keep writing. You should keep writing." And anyhow, I never quit, and uh, still I have 30, 40 stories in my mind. Um, Notes as well. It will come slowly and gradually. I'll release every story every six months. This is the This is a uh, uh, book. Oh. Yeah, we are going, going to talk about we are going to talk about that book as well uh, in upcoming upcoming points. So thanks for showing it, showing that book and you know we'll be able to yeah, that specific as well, right? But importantly, you mentioned very you know, very very nice. You you have been a part of uh, Bali. Bali is a movie, uh, 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 now written by uh, uh, the lead actor is Asif Kapoor. Right? That's what I I understood. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and you are the, you are assistant director of that movie. And uh, now possibly that movie is still yet to release. When when you when you guys yeah, are planning? Yeah, it, it was supposed to release. Uh, because uh, it was shot in February 2020, and okay. as uh, we, we finished the shoot and we were in product post production, and the COVID pandemic started and the release was pushed back and it was supposed to release in April 21, but again the second wave started and so still it is uh, yet to release. Uh, mm -hmm. We are all excited. I was uh, second or I was. The last year, assistant director, you can say, I was an intern. But the story behind that bully is somewhat different because uh, I met the director Vishal Furia. He knows me with my stories, and I had uh, narrated few of uh, few few stories of mine to him, and he was really like, but 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 what happened? He uh, he told me that he had a story. It's a hospital-based uh, uh, horror film. So he was looking for a doctor who can stay on set and who were who was interested in filmmaking as well and uh, he invited me to be a uh, like to be a part of this film i grabbed the opportunity i stood i stayed on the set for three four weeks i learned filmmaking all the aspects of filmmaking and you know being a doctor you get additional advantage it was not like i was just working for uh, the tea coffees and uh, arrangement sort of i was sitting besides the director and i learned all the aspects of the uh, so it was a really good time, and uh, my work was uh, 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 to manage uh, all the facets of hospital, like how it should be looking, uh, how what are the etiquettes of uh, doctors, how they treat, what are the various kinds of investigations uh, we are using, or uh, uh, some uh, some protocols to be followed, some technical technical terms. I mean. So, Medical terminologies. Uh, it was a great time. That's good. Good and to know that. Uh, and being a doctor, you utilize your experience in filmmaking, and you know that's what Bali. Yeah. Uh, you know, ah, 
Pero ano kay part two, now you see the project possibly Sopni is also there and Sopni is also there and in a leading role. So good now to was a good coming. Yeah. One of the years. That's good to know. Now being a filmmaker also, you have done some you know some some good project. That's what Bali one of one one of them, right? And also you are on the process of writing some films and now you get to also come in a coming year. But apart from that, you recently launched book. Let's talk about that as part of the book. I I reviewed at I I I personally when I saw the you know the abstract of the book I saw you know it's like criminal psychology you're talking about and and the book gives us some kind of investigative investigative approach uh, to well, to the writers when they wanted to write a one kind of uh, fictional book to consider one character mm-hmm. and, and and plot those you know investigation in different ways so just mm-hmm. just give some idea what what inspired and what made you think about this book and and, and how this story. Coming into this book uh, and 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 how you started with the journey. Okay, uh, I was uh, reading a uh, few stuffs about uh, real life serial killers. Like in USA, you can uh, see like uh, uh, there are few serial killers who have killed hundred, two hundred, two fifty people. And uh, there was a trend in the eighties or nineties uh, era of serial killers. So I was literally surprised. I was literally uh, astonished with the way uh, they uh, their psychology work. So I dug the uh, few books. I read few books, and uh, I watched a few documentaries, and I came to know about their psychologies. And being a medical, I had few uh, idea about uh, few high tech forensic investigation. I mean to say, recent advances in advances in uh, forensic investigations yeah it was a uh, amazing time and i know how to club uh, art of the science and science of the art because uh, being a doctor and being a writer it's totally different facets and i know how to club them so uh, psychology i was knowing i was knowing forensic investigation i had a very good climax in my mind for so long so i clubbed all these things and i read various real life events and, yeah and the 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 murder happened it took around a year to, but the novel was uh, of 700 pages so it was too big to publish in a single part that's why i am releasing this over in two parts mm-hmm. the first part uh, yeah if you would like to show picture book here yeah this is a uh, first part uh, murder the probe begins but so this book is you available see? on amazon amazon flipkart and everywhere yeah. right Yeah. So, if you can see, like it's a seal out showing a mysterious yeah. personality. There are some police vans. There are some investigation. There is a series of detective. So this is a, again a high tech forensic drama with uh, and people is are literally you know astonished because few of my friends and colleagues were knowing I was writing, but when they read my review, know they were like. Oh my God! We never expected, <laughs> and because uh, it was it is really mind blowing. I I had played with their mind. I I know how to you know keep them thinking in that manner. And at the end, I twisted the plot, and uh, it's a totally a chest of surprise. You can say every page has new twist, and and uh, all all other reviews are I'm getting is almost five stars. So, like, it's amazing, and why I. chose my debut novel as a murder because i knew this concept is entirely unique and everyone is uh, you know attracted towards serial killers everyone is curious about serial killers why they are killing why what what must be in their psychology or uh, what triggers a monster out of a man uh, it was totally intriguing factor and that's why i chose and uh, mystery always works i believe there are you know uh, few readers are totally inclined towards mystery so that's why i chose not to good to, good to know that to yeah good to know dr savin and, and i saw you know you are donating the whatever royalty you are earning to the book towards uh, the the person right so if you could just give some one line or text you know, what is that cause noble cause it will be great Yeah, the uh, all the uh, author earnings will be donated to a girl named as uh, Apeksha. She is just nineteen. She is a COVID warrior. She become COVID positive while uh, treating patients 
actually she is a second year medical student and while post uh, posting in uh, hospital she got infected and gradually uh, because of her infection her parents become positive unfortunately her parents uh, could not survive on the same day i guess uh, she lost her parents and it was the peak of uh, second wave despite losing her parents after a few days the girl was uh, performing her duties in covid again so but she is a brave girl and uh, she has already lost her parents and uh, she had younger brother she has younger brother uh, she is around 515 or 16 maximum This is a daughter of Yeni, I believe, because it's our responsibility. And it belongs. She she belongs to a very nominal family because our family was you not know, having uh, their home as well. They were staying as a tenant. So I believe uh, we should do something. And, uh, this earning will be additional. Though I am investing a lot in the market. Let's do something charity. So all other earnings will be donated to a person. That's good, yes, man. I, I think uh, that's a really noble cause, you know. And so you're doing that work, and we appreciate what you have started and possibly this will help affect us to, you know, to 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 get some help from the different audience from different countries as well through this your project. So this is mm -hmm. indeed a great cause. So before ending our session, we wanted to understand uh, uh, your advice. You know what? Would be your advice for uh, young filmmakers and young writers who want to share? First of all, for writers, uh, uh, writing is really difficult. It's not easy task. Uh, if you want to be a writer, you just have to keep your writing on and on. You should write every day. And uh, if your uh, first project is not working, then switch over to the another project, or third project, or fourth project. Because uh, definitely success uh, will take a time, and uh, by writing continuously, your uh, writing skill will be sharpened. Uh, uh, and, uh, so the craft takes the time. Every take everything takes time. The majority of uh, uh, writers cannot become successful because they quit. They write for a few days and they left writing. So this is the main thing I would like to address all the writers. Never, because you know, around 200 uh, uh, aspiring writers were present in our uh, workshop, right? Yeah. Uh, in Anjum, so all of them have left writing. I believe I'm, I'm the only one, I guess, who have uh, uh, scripts or who have published and uh, novel. There were Kanil Bhai Chawda. He is already established, sure. but so when. Uh, many of aspiring writers stays only aspiring, so they don't start writing. Yeah, so the <laughs> crack of this passage is all about you know keep consistent writing, you know, and and don't lose the focus, right? So that is what people yeah. are you know losing focus to. So I, I I believe persistence is uh, more important than intelligence. An intelligent person can give up easily, but if you are not intelligent or if you are ordinary person, then if You keep persistently doing something. You can achieve anything. I believe so. Persistence and disciplines. Discipline. These are the two pillars of any success. I I believe. And aspiring filmmakers, though, again, same thing. Keep uh, buzzing your director, and if you are getting a chance as a to work as an assistant director, just don't leave the opportunities. It's really difficult to survive in. Uh, Cities like Mumbai, and uh, there are uh, multiple. Uh, you know, many of uh, outsider arrives Mumbai every day to become a doctor or to become a, a writer. Or a, so, but I believe simple one sentence. If I would like to say, is, uh, don't quit. Never quit. Success achieves arrives only when you. Never quit. Be in the game. Be in the game. Yeah, be in the game. <laughs> That's good. Good to know. And your your thoughts and you know your experience talk about you know that kind of confidence and also uh, suggestions yeah. for you who want to you know who want to become a aspiring writer, filmmakers, or you know any kind of creative person they wanted to become. That's good advice. Mm -hmm. It was great honor to have you on Transparent yeah. Times, uh, uh, Doctor Shail. 
and indeed uh, you know we are looking forward to uh, to watch your health projects in upcoming months it's been good and wish you all the best for whatever you do what you're doing you know whatever you're doing on the ground we salute uh, you uh, from our part for the time also and and that's what we look forward to to contact you again and speak to you again on this show thank you very much for your thank you so time. much yeah it was nice time i really enjoyed thank you so much bye bye take care bye bye take care bye, bye.